Welcome to Windows 8.1 Lessons and this is Lesson 17 How to use the Mail app to read mail, delete, respond and transfer an email message to someone else. So These are the basic functions that most people do. Probably 99% of that will be um, one of those four options basically for most people. So you've configured your mail app uh, with an email address hopefully because you wanted to use a mail app and so when you click on your mail app you will see that there are messages maybe in your inbox or not but hopefully you'll get some messages eventually so you click the inbox where you want to have that message and actually what you will now see is that the screen in an email is divided in three parts. The left part, the blue panel, is the general email uh, folders and um, this is where you also switch between accounts that you'll have in your mail app. Second, it's kind of a gray, blue, gray, slightly grayed um, column and that's where you get the messages so you'll have the title of the message or the object and you'll have also the name of that person that sent you that message so for example from my Hotmail account I send a message to my Gmail and this is the ones that are called Atelier Informatique which is French and you see my little face there on the right side of your screen and your mail app you have the panel where you read the emails that you receive. So every time you get an email, you actually get the message on that right side panel. So that's how mail is divided. It's actually a um, left panel, the different options of your account. The second column is the inbox itself or the folder that you're watching and the different messages that are there because it can be something else than inbox. And finally, in the right side, you'll actually see the messages. So as when you click on messages, you can read the messages on the right side of your screen. So now you know how it works. You've read email. Let's do a little cleaning. Maybe there's a message you don't want to have. So for example, I've sent myself a message here and I actually don't want it anymore. I want to delete it. What do you have to do? As long as it's in blue, as you see here, you can go on the upper right side of your screen. There's a little trash can. Just click delete. And there you have, you just deleted your email. Now, maybe there's an important message and you want to transfer it to someone. How do you do that? Then you can click the message that you want to transfer. And go on to the upper right side of the screen. The first round icon you see is respond. Click on that and you'll have options. You can reply, reply all, or forward. So if you want to send that message to a friend of you because you want him to or her to read that message, then just click forward and just enter the address of that person you want to send it to. So I'll send it to myself here on my other address. And once it's done, all you have to do is click that little envelope that says send. Once that is done, you are now, you've just transferred that message to someone else. Now, maybe you want to reply to that person. How do you do that? Well, it's not complicated. You just go to your message and you click the message in question and you say oh hello I got a hello message here I want to reply to that person I'll just click once again the respond icon and click reply there you'll send a reply hello I have received your email and so you write on the right side somewhere below you can click almost anywhere and write something and then send it. There's always a copy 
of the original message that is sent with the reply so that the person if it's taken you know a few days or a few weeks if the person doesn't remember the subject of the conversation at least you can refer to the uh, the copy of that message you'll know why it wrote you and you'll know why you are responding so once that is done you click once again that little envelope right there send and there you go you've just replied to that person you actually told her or him that oh I received your email it's cool so that's the basic functions of transferring deleting and reading email on your mail app one last thing you want to write a new message to someone how do you that how do you do that sorry well simply choose the correct email so for example I want to send it from my hotmail and I want to send it to my gmail here or you want to send it to someone else all you have to do is go on the upper right side and click the plus sign this puts you on a new message here that you can actually um, send the messages to so what you'll do is to whom you want to send the messages so what you'll do is actually type the email address of that person that you want to send to and letorg at and here it completes here we go then you will add a subject and if that's very important why do you want to add a subject to your messages first of all if I receive an email with an empty subject or object box there's a good chance I would not even open the message so that is one reason the title that you put here or the subject should be short but very precise and to the point for example if you are saying hello to someone well just say hello just put hello in the subject and then write the text that you want under it at the bottom if you are writing about a contract well just say oh contract or about the contract or whatever but keep it short but you know put a word or a keyword that is to the point why you are writing that person so that if he sees the title he'll be interested so for example if I put okay contract then you go under it there's a little line it's not easy to see there's a little line just here and then start writing hello I want to talk to you about the contract so this is an example and you might sign it shell here we go once your message is done you've got an object you have that letter envelope on the top right just click it to send the message now here there's a little uh, something that I need to uh, there, L -E -T -R, yeah. I'll write it again here we go there's a little error so you see that it tells you there's a problem and it shows you where if there's something wrong and there was a, like an, a little uh, character that shouldn't have been there once everything is okay you send and there it's gone that means that now in my um, Gmail I'll probably have a message here it goes it says contract you see the title that I gave it so that person that you are sending that new message to knows why you are writing and you can click on it and say oh hello I want to talk to you about the contract so I hope you get the um, the drift of what I'm trying to explain here um, if not you know watch the video again and again a few times it's gonna help you so basically you've learned how to read delete and reply also forward messages and even do a new message so a lot of infor information on this video so um, take your time and of course um, watch the video again and again between the lessons I got an idea today of making these little 
tip videos because um, I get ideas of things that might actually not be clear to everyone and these tip videos are not part of the lessons directly but they are part of the learning experience of your computer so um, I'll put these little tip videos that I've uh, been thinking about uh, in between the different uh, lessons and so that you'll have all the full information if there's something missing in information maybe the tip videos are going to help you uh, learn more and the uh, tip video that I'm thinking of with the mail app is actually uh, an explanation of email address how they work and what's the difference between a, a URL or a web address and an email address a lot of people don't know the difference if you like our videos and our lessons, well, why not subscribe? Then you will have access to the videos and also you will have a notification every time we put new videos online. So if you want to learn Windows 8, it's a great place to come by. And uh, maybe you have comments, questions, suggestions, why not ask away? And hopefully you will come back to learn more on Windows 8 and uh, this is a free computer lesson that I'm offering you on YouTube why not share it with everyone so thanks for watching bye bye